Welcome to Josh Shares. I am very excited for this episode because not only am I recording on March 1st, this episode we're going to talk about transformation and the importance of transforming your life and yourself. Now with that being said, since it's March 1st, it's very important to set new goals new intentions for this month how do you want to grow how do you want to see yourself grow how do you want to enhance within your life you really have to think about it last month if you didn't reach any of your goals if you weren't at the place where you really truly wanted to be within yourself and the position of where you stand within life then you have to do something different in this month in order to get some results i want to discuss about three things one investing in yourself investing in your mind and into coaches and investing in environment now we all know how important it is to invest in yourself invest in your mind because when we talk about transforming right what does that mean that means being someone completely new changing your identity and we cannot bring our old selves into a new goal we cannot bring our old selves into this new phase of life of where we want to be we have to always change all the time we're constantly changing so we have to be intentional with this growth we have to know why we're growing how we want to grow who do we want to become and within that it's important to truly feed your mind because when you feed your mind you gain new perceptions you figure new things about yourself you're then more able to understand others and understand how to move within the world or within business or just within relationships or all the above now what kind of investments am i talking about one is investing in god now i know this might be interesting to y'all that i'm now a believer because way before all of my other videos i never really spoke about god but it wasn't until i had this feeling and i had this urge to truly be someone new you see for a very very long time i lost myself i lost the connection with myself especially within my spiritual side i didn't feel like myself anymore i didn't know what was important to me i didn't really know how to connect with myself in a very efficient way where i felt like i was coming back home and it wasn't until january i made the decision actually it was way before january it was around i would say december or november even i started to tap more into knowing who god is i started to dive more deeper into um certain sermons certain talks about god and it wasn't until January I made a decision to truly invest in God and once I made that decision my <laughs> I'm telling y'all my whole life has been so different that now I've chosen to have God with me in my life you know it has helped me understand the world better it has helped me understand the process better it has made me it has made me hungry to be with myself even more because I know that God is helping me along the way. I'm not trying to push any belief onto y'all, but you know, find, find something to believe in. Whether that's the universe, whether that is Buddha, just explore and find, find something to believe in because it will truly help you transform into the person that you want to become. And then there's personal development. Personal development is the key to truly transforming because it helps you recondition yourself, right? If you've always lived, if you always had a poor base mindset, meaning 
you have a mindset of lack you have a mindset of scarcity you have a mindset of fear all these things are a poor based mindset you're not truly thinking big you're not truly seeing what you're capable of and you're constantly in this this failure mindset when you invest in personal development it unlocks certain things within your brain it unlocks certain things within yourself that you were ever able to see without it and you know it gives you motivation it gives you inspiration but all in all it just truly helps you grow as a person when i started to invest in personal development when i started to dive more into books more into talks more into seminars truly invest in my mind because you see there's so much that we can do there's so much that we can do with just ourselves but without God, without other people, it's going to be very, very hard to push through, to push through that barrier that's holding us back. And now I want to dive more deep into investing in mentors and coaches. Now guys, just like I said, there's only so much that we can handle. There's only so much that we can do. There's only so much capabilities that we can see within ourselves and when we invest in certain mentors certain coaches they see something within us that we cannot see they push us into directions uh, where we really don't want to go but because they set this standard they set this high goal within us we're more likely to go do it rather than us just talking to ourselves and we're like yeah i am going to make a million dollars by the end of this year and then the end of this year comes and you just reflect reflect back and all you did was 10 percent of the work and it just makes sense because we can be our biggest biggest enemies we can be our biggest roadblockers we have two sides of ourselves right think of it like the angel and then the devil on one ear the devil is saying you can't do this you can't do that you know just go back to your old friends go back to your old life and just you know it's not worth it and then the angels like no keep going keep going and they're just in a constant battle and it's like i don't know what to do so when you have a coach when you have a mentor they they help you shift your focus into a direction where it's like okay this is where you're gonna go point a to point b to point c to point d they help you become more strategic they guide you into the right direction now they don't hold your hand and do everything for you but they set the certain standard where it's like you reflect back into yourself and you're like whoa like <laughs> i'm about to like that's facts that's straight facts and it moves you even more you see in january i invested in a coach and i'm so ex i'm so excited i'm so grateful that i did because without that coach the website my galdemode website would probably not be up right now <laughs> the amount of things that i did in order to reach to where i'm at right now certain opportunities wouldn't have came about you see the biggest part was galdemode for me right and the fact that it only had to take a person a person of higher value to help me shift my focus and be like this is the most important thing to you so what are you doing initially like why has it taken you so long like just really being stern and really opening my eyes and erasing the veil and being like what are you doing has helped me so much because if it was just me i yes i would have been kind of hard on myself yes i would have told myself okay i need to get this done i need to get that done but there was a sense of urgency that i didn't have that my coach put onto me and that is why it's so important to invest in mentors and coaches now let's say you're like okay jasmine i get it but i don't have any money to invest i don't i don't 
know who to go to i don't know where to look it's okay because there is the internet there's media there's so many uh, i have so many other mentors that i've never met before literally they don't even know who i am they don't even know i exist but because the power of youtube i'm able to find mentors like sarah jake roberts les brown nisa nickel and john c maxwell and many many more that truly helped me become the person that i want to be so all in all it's just researching and finding who you can relate to and who you think that can help you along with this journey and just searching up those people that i just mention truly go search them up and you'll see what i'm talking about and the third is environment environment is so big and it's so key and massive to transforming into the person that you desire to be why i always speak about environment and i'm and i tell y'all i'm always going to speak about environment because i feel environment is way more effective than honestly everything else because environment will lead to everything that i talk about truly if it wasn't for me switching my environment investing in to an environment i wouldn't be here right now i wouldn't have been able to talk about these certain things maybe i would have you know kind of be in this position but i feel like i'm way ahead right now uh, if I never invested into a certain environment, I probably would have been like 10 steps behind than where I'm already at. If you're somebody that sees a really successful future for themselves, right? You want to be around other successful people. You want to be making money with your friends. You want to be traveling all over the world and not have to worry about clocking into a job. You want to live life full of time and money. Those are the two main things that everybody wants more of, time and money. So, how can you gain that how 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 are you able to even achieve that is the people you surround yourself with a lot of people want to bring their friends over to their to their dreams to their lifestyle to where they see themselves but you have to realize not everybody sees that for themselves so you have to truly let them go where they where they want to be you cannot force anybody to come along with you along this journey if they can't see it nor can you force them to see it but if you find other people that have the same vision that see what you see it'll be then more easier to manifest all your desires and dreams i was listening to a talk i think it was his name is jt roberts um yeah but <laughs> he was talking about environment and it was so powerful like y'all li i'll link the video below it's um how to become a produce her a produce her <laughs> and he was talking about how a certain environment manifests your desires you cannot be in an environment where all they do is smoke up all they do is talk about other people maybe talk about other celebrities in their lives or just w just do and watch unmeaningful things that don't give them any value that don't help them reach the next level i mean you know sometimes it's i guess it's good to dive into those things i guess it depends on who you are or the type of person you are but i know for me I invest more into my growth than anything else because I know it takes a long time. I know it takes dedication. I know it's a constant battle between fighting your old self versus your new self. So I'm really, 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 I really pay attention to my environment. Most of you heard this saying already. If you hang around with five bums, you will be the sixth bum. If you hang around with five millionaires, you'll be the sixth one it's just about perception and the mindset right if you hang around with people with the wrong mindset with the wrong perception they think everyone's up to get them they think the world is coming to an end they think covid is gonna rule the whole world then 
it's gonna be very hard for you to succeed but if you hang around with people that aren't afraid of covid that aren't afraid of you know reaching new heights that you know see life as a very valuable experience then you'll be able to succeed way more right and what do i mean when i say invest in environment what do i mean by that now let's say you're like okay i get what you're saying but how do i change my environment how do i even find these people because let me tell y'all before i found a community of high valuable people a community of growth and expansion a community of unicorns i was the same i'm like i gotta i gotta leave i gotta leave boston I, I, there's nobody here that thinks the way that i think there's i can't like what I was thinking so, so small, but it wasn't until somebody reached out to me that connected me with somebody from here and boom, I found my community, I found my environment. And I feel like you truly have to make a decision mentally. You have to make this mental contract that you're willing to change, that you're willing to start living the life that you want to live because once you make that intention clear god will hear your prayers and within his timing he will bring the right people over to you but you just have to have faith you have to trust and you have to have patience and also you have to just go out there and meet new people <laughs> all in all you have to do the work <clears throat> you can't just sit there and wait and wait and wait because without action there will be no fruit so go and experience go and travel go where other successful people are at like for instance me and my team were hosting an upscale art and fashion show here in boston may 14th and there is a bunch a bunch of other creatives there's a bunch of other entrepreneurs there's a bunch of other successful people that are in those kinds of environments so all in all you just have to let the fear go and just go where other successful people are at go where other like-minded individuals are at search it up on google like do what you can do to be in new environments because you never know who you might meet that will lead you into the destination of where you're trying to go it's very very important to also invest in certain opportunities that will lead you towards certain environments you see within my story most of you know i'm a network marketing and honestly network marketing has changed my whole entire life honestly why because it has led me to the people that i've always wanted to be surrounded with it has led me to like-minded individuals it has led me to people who truly want to travel to experience the world and literally they don't let fear hold them back and for the longest i've always wanted to be in an environment i always wanted friends that were adventurous that were creative that you know didn't make excuses for themselves that truly just felt the fear and they did it anyway within my company we always host these massive big events that you have to fly out to and just learn and grow and just truly build a business and my first event was truly life-changing but i know before like before i even made a decision to go i was overhearing people talking about going to texas and I want, I'm like, I want to go. It was during my birthday too and I had nothing to do. And I'm like, hey, why not? And they were like, girl, you need to come because it will change your life. And I'm like, what? Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> Imagine not knowing what they know, but they see something way big that you're like, 
what's going on and i'm telling you it's gonna change your life you're probably thinking about a lot of things i was thinking about a lot of things but it wasn't until i stepped foot into that arena where i actually seen what they meant because there were so many other people from all around the world that we all had this one massive goal and it was to transform it was to transform our lives and imagine being around thousands of people that want to transform their lives that energy is massively crazy and imagine seeing people walking on stage telling you stories about themselves about their lives about how they got to point a to point b about how they were able to make their dreams a reality it's a whole different vibe it's a whole different story so truly going into a whole different world because initially that wasn't for me it was like a whole different world where you never knew that certain things were possible that's what network marketing did for me and maybe you're not into network marketing maybe you think it's a pyramid scheme maybe you're like ah. but honestly Look for yourself. Decide for yourself. Because if I listen to my friends, my friends that are no longer my friends, my, lo my friends that truly didn't see what I seen, that weren't giving me any value, if I listened to them, I wouldn't be here right now. You probably think I'm super successful. You see me traveling everywhere and you're like, how does Jasmine do it? How, how, how is Jasmine like this? Like, I'm so bubbly. I'm so positive. I have so much wisdom. Like, how? That is how. Because I invested in a certain community. I invested in a business model that'll truly help me grow, that will truly change my paradigm, that'll help me make this identity shift because I was never like this. I was always a shy girl. I was always afraid to talk to people. I was always afraid to speak up. I was always afraid to share my ideas. But because I hung around with certain individuals, they were able to help me uncover all of my capabilities they were able to help me see my true value my true gift and it's all because i invested in a community so find the community that's right for you if you need help i have i have different, i have so many outlets to different communities and i can help you find the right community that fits for you. But you truly have to stop being afraid and you just have to ask for help. You have to go introduce yourself to a new stranger. Go, you know, talk to somebody on social media. Go find out who they are. And you never, never, never know where that can lead you to. You never know how massively that can change your life because it all starts with one thing it starts with stepping out of your fear and just doing it so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see y'all next week peace